Hey, Mara. So what I'm saying, Phil, is uh, the last couple of days um, we'll go to the floor first and then we'll head over to Zoom. Um, after Kat, um, I'll be bringing in um, Nathan Lyon and then Alex Carey. Alex Carey will be under embargo um, until tomorrow morning and uh, probably, uh, let's say, 11 o'clock because uh, the guys will have a day off tomorrow now. So um, we'll go to the floor. Thank you. Kat, congratulations on your first winners. Captain of the start, I guess. How proud are you of the way the boys came out today and really close to match out up England fought back Yeah, exceptionally proud. Um, yeah, so many different stories within the game. I thought Nathan Lyon, I said to him last night, I said, mate, forget about it. You're never going to get your 400. So it was nice that he got that done this morning. I said maybe next summer. But um, yeah, really happy for him. I thought he bowled really well yesterday without luck. Um, yeah, Greeny, to, you know, pick up Joe Root and, and another one later on. Just a, you know, great way for him to get into his um, yeah, career as an all-rounder. I thought he bowled beautifully all game. Um, yeah, the other bowlers all, all did a job, and yeah, just really proud. I think um, yeah, Trav had the, his innings on day two. Um, couldn't ask for much more than that. Oh, okay. uh, you talked to us about uh, day one after day one about uh, how much for captaincy did you learn in our yesterday and condition for getting England for a lot to return on top? Yeah, yeah, a lot more yesterday than probably day one and two. It felt like everything went our way on day one and two, luck. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was just a good reminder that it's test cricket. There's going to be tough days out there, good partnership. You're playing against the best players in the world. They're going to have good days. Um, again, I was really happy with how we stuck at it. I thought we... Um, you know, put a lot into yesterday and we were really calm, turned up this morning, still you know, focused and calm and, um, you know, ahead of the game. So there's no panic. Uh, and then, yeah, just got our rewards yesterday for the hard work. That we, uh, got our rewards this morning for the hard work from yesterday. Uh, just uh, about, you know, first test as captain, uh, what do you like when the batting is on? I I felt it a little bit harder. I normally sit down in the change room and watch, but there was like a two second delay and that was annoying me because the crowd were going crazy. I wasn't sure if it was a four or a wicket. So I had to go and sit up the top, um, probably more so than I would have just normally. But uh, yeah, pretty relaxed. It doesn't, there's not much I can do in a batting inning. So try and sit back, use it as a time to recharge like us bowlers normally do and let the batters do their thing. Um, and I think out there on the field as well, I felt like I got a little bit better as the game went on and just concentrating on my own bowling and um, yeah, trusting that everything else is going to work out okay. Uh, you stopped playing with it and uh, if so, from the outside looking in, it seems that he was under used somewhat yesterday. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit sore, um, Josh, he is. Uh, it was good. He, he came out today and was able to bowl and um, it got through a you know, really good spell, but, but um, yeah, he's, he's a little bit sore, so we're just managing through it's, it's the five test match summer is key for us, so yeah, don't want to yeah, blow him out of the water on day two, three. Um, any specifics around him? Uh, just rib, a little bit of rib. Um, yeah, nothing nothing too serious, but didn't want to turn into a, a huge injury. And speaking of ribs, David Warner, um, do you expect him to be hit for Adelaide or is it wait and see? And uh, it just means why the obvious replacement is not Yeah, Davey, um, um, he's available to bat at the end. Um, we actually came in when we needed 20 to win, couldn't find him anywhere in the stadium. Um, no, he's fine. Uh, we just chose not to risk him. Um, but he had, I think he had a hit in here earlier and um, got through it, still pretty sore, but he should be right for Adelaide. We'll monitor, monitor him, but um, I think he'll be fine um, in terms of replacements. Was he's in the squad? No one ask his selector of uh, yeah, above my pay grade. Uh, Pat, you mentioned Ken Green and his biggest bowling moment definitely being his co What have you made of his development as a bowler from last summer over the last year 
what do you see in him technically at the bowler when you watch him operate? Yeah, I hadn't seen a lot of him in shield cricket, um, but everything I was hearing was positive. Um, there was a lot of chat a couple of years ago that he was next, you know, one of the next best quicks, really hard work. And then he started churning out hundreds. So um, it's huge, you know, huge for us having that, not only just a, an all rounder that bowls a bit, but he's a genuine fourth quick. Um, last summer was tough in that it was literally straight after a stress fracture. So, um, not only could he, you know, didn't want to put too many overs into him on the ground, but little things like, you know, preparing for games and getting overs into you and working on things in the nets. He just didn't have a lot of bowling behind him, whereas he's had a really good pre-season, um, bowled a bit more in shield cricket. So he's back to probably what he was bowling a couple of years ago and just a huge asset, bowls 140 bounce, um, can swing the ball and, yeah, just really wanted to get him I guess, into the game, get his first test wicket, and, and he's away now. He's, he's a huge asset for us. Um, yeah, still you know, firmly in our top six batters, but to have someone like him that can give us genuine wicket-taking overs, great. Uh, you, um, you joke about making long way for that 400, but how good is it to, or how big is it, I guess, in the series to see him just tail up again? And, and you just sort of explain the field setting for that, but like you're pretty aggressive now in the offside. Is that something that's that overnight? Does it work? Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, he's, I think he's just about our most important bowler. Um, you know, wicket taking option, but also the amount of overs he bowls. I think even yesterday, he bowled without luck, but he went at two and a half and over for, you know, 20 odd overs uh, on a hot day, which is, you know, a huge asset for us. Um, I think, yeah, in terms of fields, yeah, we had a bit of a, a think overnight. Um, not too much changes. I think being so far ahead in the game is just a good reminder to keep being positive. Um, really make sure we've got some, um, yeah, just plenty of options to take wickets. Don't mind if he goes for a few extra runs. Um, and again, I think sometimes field, moving the fielders around gives something different visually for the batters to look at. But um, yeah, again, I, I think he bowled without luck at a lot of times yesterday, um, yeah, especially to the left-handers and came out today, showed why he's, you know, one of the greatest of all time. Was it part of the plan to obliterate Jack Lynch, or was that something that happened? Uh, we spoke about, um, yeah, spin in the past. I think when, you know, Aussie cricket team is playing at its best, it's, it has a real presence against, you know, particularly spin bowling. And um, that was really all we spoke about. I think they sensed an opportunity. Um, it's a tough ground sometimes to bowl here, short, straight, and yeah, the batters capitalise and really, really brave, fearless. It's one thing talking about it, but to go out and, and play that way, I thought was was really impressive. Um, and yeah, they just sensed that opportunity. I think similar to Trav Headlight on day two, he sensed that opportunity. Um, not necessarily, could you know, argue maybe the game didn't need it, but he sensed that opportunity and, and, and went all out on it. And, and as a captain, couldn't be happier. Um, Alex Perry's obviously had to wait a long time for his opportunity, and that catch is obviously in the record books. What did she make of him behind herself? Yeah, without any flaws, this game I thought he was, you know, tremendous. Um, really clean against Lino as well. Um, so, yeah, not surprised. We he's played a lot of international cricket. We knew he would slot straight in and and um, you know be high quality. Uh, so really happy for him. I think as well putting his hand up. Uh, when Dave wasn't going to open, said, no, I'll open. Um, shows a lot of confidence and, yeah, do whatever he, he can for the team. So really happy for him, really impressed with his debut, not surprised. Um, but, yeah, it's eight, eight, eight catches, great start for him. Given the tight turnaround between Adelaide, is it hard for Josh Hazelwood to, to come up or to sort of be uh, rough plan in place yet or you just see how he goes? Uh, I think we'll wait till he wakes up in the morning. Um, yeah, I think a key is... We don't want to put him in jeopardy for the whole series. So, um, yeah, we'll take our time. Um, yeah, he had a scan last night, so we'll, we'll kind of work through that. Um, said he bowled out uh, there today, but, yeah, no plan yet. Sleep on it, see how he pulls up tomorrow. OK, guys, we've got uh, four or five here on Zoom, so we'll go to Ben Horn. Hey, but um, you, you spoke before the test about, you know, what happened last summer at the Gabba against India and you felt like the team could have stuck it 
plans for longer and um, tactically been a bit better. Um, with the pressure that you were put under yesterday, were you happy with how the team responded? Did you feel like you know that there, there was some lessons that were learnt? Yeah, yeah. I think we we stayed a lot more patient. Um, you know, especially this morning, we just did what we did best and just try and own the top of off stump, fourth stump. Um, don't get too funky with fields. Don't get too carried away with the short bowling plans if it's if it's not if you don't sense that opportunity. Um, yeah, so I think that's that's probably one lesson. Just stay at plan A for for as long as we can. Um, maybe with the odd fielder out and. But I think we, yeah, kind of the way we started the match and the way we finished, we didn't change too much. Nick Savage. Thanks so much, Cole. Uh, G'day, Pat. Congrats on the win. Uh, There was a moment today where you dismissed Ben Stokes and Cameron Green took the catch and immediately pointed towards the slip court. And do you possibly know what that interaction was was about? Was there there a prediction from Minus Labuschagne, perhaps? I wouldn't be surprised. He... He has about 10 predictions each ball. Um, I think they did say, maybe, uh, I think they said, oh, you know, I feel like you're going to get a catch here at Gully to, to Cam Green. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. But, um, you know, I will say I was going to bowl Starkey one more and um, Smitty kind of tapped me on the shoulder and said, I think it's your turn. Um, so I went up to him and gave him a big high five. He was a, a big part in that wicket. Dan Brady. G'day, Pat. Um, just uh, one, um, well, sort of a broader one about the um, sort of what, what this match does for you going forward. Like I know Ben mentioned about sort of the staying calm element, but does that help you as a as a captain in terms of what you're saying to the the team about what you want from them? That that that's the that the, that's the outcome you can get. And then specifically, um, uh, just Nathan Lyon and having the silly point in sort of what the discussions were about about that. I suppose yesterday to today. Uh, I'm trying to remember what my memory is. Um, I, think, I think, first of all, yeah, it showed that, you know, calm environment, it's five days is a long time. You, you can't burn out getting too caught up in, in every little thing that happens. Um, so I think sticking to our processes, the game can feel like it's moving, um, yeah, not in the direction you like. And I think, you know, we're still one by nine wickets today. So it's a, a really good sign of, um, the way we go about it is, I think, the, our best chance. Um, in terms of the field of Sir Nathan Lyon, I, I think he's up next, so maybe you can ask him. But, um, yeah, we've played around with that silly point just different times, just trying different things. You know, got through a lot of work for us yesterday. So uh, he's got great control. We feel like you can have him on either side of the wicket and he's going to be able to, um, you know, bolt to that fielder. But a lot of the time it hits the bat, hits the pad, pops up, it's potluck where it's going to land. So... Um, yeah, nothing specific planning other than close infielders for a, a very good off spinner. Andrew, we will finish off with Stephen Schiller. Yeah, good day, Pat. Congratulations. Um, I just wanted to ask about Josh. Um, when you're talking about um, his injury uh, and the, you mentioned ribs, are we sort of looking into sort of the ribs side um, strain territory? And what did the scans show last night? Uh, they, they weren't too, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I, I don't know, but um, it was nothing scary enough to not bowl today, um, but still just a little bit, just to make us a little bit, you know, want to manage him a little bit, um, which we, we kind of expected is a little bit sore, but um, yeah, nothing too scary, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep managing him, as we said, we'll sleep on it tonight, see how he wakes up. Uh, just adding to that, Andrew, I'll update in the WhatsApp group um, this afternoon. But yeah, uh, very, very mild uh, strain. Very, very mild. He, 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 there was no reason he couldn't have bowled yesterday afternoon. Um, but the guys just managed him through that. Stephen. Hi, Pat. Um, a win in Brisbane on the past couple of Ashes series in Australia has led to Australia really getting on top of England and recording big series wins. Have you seen anything over the past few days that leads you to believe that the same can be repeated? Oh, I mean, I hope so. Um, you know, I was really happy that just about everyone fired. Um, everyone's into the series now. Um, you know, I thought the, the bowling unit together bowled really well. Um, 
and you know just about all the batters got going into the into the game. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with you know where we're at. It's really early on in the series, so you know history is great, but it uh, doesn't count for too much. Um, we're going to Adelaide, it's a, a place we love playing. Pink ball, it's a little bit different to um, you know the, the traditional red ball match. Um, a few more unknowns each time we play, but it's a format we enjoy. Uh, Adelaide Oval is a great place to play cricket, so um, yeah, couldn't have asked for a better start, but still a lot of work to do. Okay. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Pat. Um, Nathan Lyons waiting in the back of the room, so we'll uh, say goodbye to, to Pat and welcome, um, welcome the goat.